me if I could show you how to draw uh, a stingray. And uh, so you're going to need a pencil and an eraser and pens. I'll just choose a 6B. Now, stingrays are very weird things. Uh, Pat Tweety tells me that they're the, his family guardian, which I think is a great idea to have, have an animal that's going to be your guardian, especially a stingray. They'll really look after you. Um, we're going to have this stingray kind of going in this direction. Okay, so draw, draw a line. And that's kind of being, that's a line right down the middle of its tummy, right on the flat on the ground. Okay. And... Um, at some, and then we want to get a kind of a uh, an olive kind of shape, an oval along that line, okay. And then where that line goes across, you're going to want another kind of line like that. So we're going to give, give it, in, giving it a kind of a 3D look, okay. Um, then the front of it. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Some of them are quite round and some of them are quite pointy. So I'm going to do somewhere in between. Uh, kind of something like that. In fact, it wants to come a bit further to the back because they kind of come in and come in like that. And some have little mini kind of fins at the back. And then you're going to want one eye there and then one eye there, which is a little not quite so round. So this will be rounder than this eye because that's for the further round the body um, and an eyeball. Is it gonna, I'm afraid it's going to be a bit, a bit cartoony but that's kind of what I do. Now the top of its body will kind of slide down into its tail with a sting at the end and then the rest of it will be coming out. So you take this curve around like that. Yeah. So it's like a big blob with, with, with wings spreading out from it and it's very flat and that will go very pointed and then they generally have a kind of a fin underneath like that and that's basically it really let's see how we do if we ink it in see what it that makes a difference on the fine one here we go um and so what what i would do is i would do the eyes first like that and then do a circle with a leaving a little circle of white inside there to make it look shiny. I know their eyes don't look like this, um, but uh, that's kind of how I do it, right? Then you can take that line all the way right down to the sting in the tail. And then this will come around and just kind of, and, <laughs> and then you can turn that into a line and then that will come down all the way thinner and thinner and thinner into the sting and then the kind of fin underneath um, now from there you can draw these two little fins and then follow that line all the way around the outside and uh, and that's kind of it it's going to have spots and colors and whatever it depends on the kind there are a lot of different kinds of stingrays and they're all very different shapes but that's kind of basically a stingray and uh, Pat I hope you enjoy this and uh, if you do a little bit of shadow just like that then it makes it look like it's just hovering off the surface of the water like that. there now all we need to do is to get our eraser knowing that the pen is dry, that the ink is dry. I'm using my permanent ink, permanent pen ink, which dries very, very quickly. So always make sure your ink is dry because it's so upsetting when you rub. Oh, I've lost it, haven't I? Oh, <laughs> it's so upsetting when you rub out your pencil marks and then you can smear your ink. So you don't want to do that. So there we go. That's how to draw a stingray. And uh, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel on YouTube. Keep coming back to teacher.com and my own site www.shoe-tube.com uh, and you should be able to see them in schools if you're uh, if you're in schools and libraries and things if, if, if you're on shoe-tube.com so keep coming back do video responses uh, be a subscriber and you get chances of winning my books so so uh, enjoy see you next time bye